Hey everybody, it's Rod with Civil Advantage Firearms Training. Thanks for watching the video. This isn't a Civil Advantage video. It's a unofficial, sort of official CCFR update video. So the CCFR being the Canadian Coalition for Firearm Rights. Uh, I just felt that you guys were owed an update because uh, so many people are supporting us before they even knew what we stood for uh, or what we were going to do. Uh, it's just really inspiring and I just thought we owed you an update. So anyway, the big question is a lot of people are asking is when can I buy a membership? And uh, the answer to that is probably in about two weeks, um, maybe a little sooner, but maybe three weeks on the outside if we hit, uh, hit a few bumps in the road. And the reason why we don't want to take any memberships yet is that when we throw the doors open, we want to be an organization that's completely ready to take political action like day one. And to further that, I want to say this, that the CCFR, when we throw the doors open, when we are officially open for business and taking memberships, we're actually going to be at the point that it took the other national organizations two decades to get to. And when I say that, I'm talking about a full legal structure, bylaws, operational plans, website, mobile friendly, online transactions, swag, hopefully that might take a little extra time. Uh, all of our policies, all of our rationales, the reason why we believe the things that we do, what we're planning to do, how we're going to get there. Um, a full field officer program that is already in the hundreds, already in the hundreds. Super exciting and really inspiring. So a lot of people stepping forward to help. It's just, it's been an excellent experience. Now, how do we get there? Well, there's a group of, I say 20 to 30, I don't even know how many, but this small core group of, of concerned citizens, you know, really selfless, good natured gun owners that created this whole thing themselves, funded it themselves, right? Everyone's a volunteer. No one has gotten any kind of compensation and no, really no recognition. They didn't need any of that stuff. And they created all that infrastructure that I just talked about as volunteers. Unbelievable. So, and I'm not even part of that group. Um, I don't consider myself even a, a, a big part of this organization because I showed up, I showed up late. I showed up, I think about six weeks ago. Um, and you know, yeah, I'm putting in some work now, but these people did everything. So they deserve all the respect in the world. And I can't, I can't see how anyone would say a bad word about them. So I'm really honored to be in such great company. I could go on all day about that. But having said that, so uh, that's how it all came to being. Um, really impressive. Next thing, what kind of organization is the CCFR? And I think it's important that you guys understand what that is, especially if you're going to get involved with us. So over the last few days, we've been sort of leaking out some of our uh, policy documents, what we believe and why we believe it. And you'll find a couple of themes. One of them is that we're probably one of the more <laughs> hardcore gun organizations that Canada has ever seen. I mean, here's an example, no magazine size limits, uh, no, no paperwork, no firearm registration. Uh, full autos are okay if you can, if, if you're, you know, have the skills to, to handle shooting full autos. Peaceful possession of a firearm without a license should not be a criminal offense. It should, shouldn't be a, a criminal code offense. Yeah, it should never have been one in the first place. Uh, shoot any firearm anywhere, including full autos, anywhere where a firearm can be legally and safely discharged. Concealed carry, firearms for purposes of self-defense. You know, all that kind of stuff. So you can see that we're, we're pretty hardcore, but on the other end of the spectrum, we are a law and order organization. Uh, we, if, you know, if you're looking for an organization that says, absolutely, 100%, don't even want to negotiate, don't even want to talk about it, we need to be able to buy uh, squad automatic weapons, meaning full machine guns uh, at Shoppers Drug Mart with no ID and pick up an ammo can on the way out of the, uh, you know, through the till, that's not us. Um, and the reason, and because this organization is going to fulfill a very specific function and it's to do something that no other organization has done and no organization is doing. And it is one of the most important parts of our advocacy that's been neglected from day one. One of the reasons why we aren't farther along than we are. Now I'm going to preface this part of, you know, explaining what we're going to do and, and what we are by saying that even though we haven't done anything, people are telling me, oh, that's been tried and it's failed and it'll never work. And just, it's really weird. I, anyway, there's influences in our community that just was like, yeah, don't even try. Just keep doing the same thing that isn't working, you know, uh, in Canada at least, right? But what we're going to do is we're going to ignore those voices for now. I can't tell you this is going to work, but I'm hoping it is, right? And I'm willing to try and put my time and, and resources on the line to do it. Um, but basically, here's how I can explain it to you. And here's the problem that we want to solve. I drive downtown Vancouver, I jump out of my vehicle, I stop someone on the road, I go, hey, listen, 
do you own a gun? They go, no. And I go, do you think that we should uh, loosen restrictions on handguns? And they'll go, hell no, we shouldn't. We should make it harder to, for criminals to get handguns. And I go, okay, well, do you know what the existing restrictions are? And they'll go, no. So here they are expressing an opinion. They're ready to dig their heels in. They have no idea. No idea at all. So imagine, here's the problem, and it's a problem with literally probably 10 to 15 million Canadians have no idea what the current laws are. They just know they don't like gun violence. So when confronted with, an, you know, ask for an opinion, that's their opinion. Done. End of story. Then, what do, they, what do they encounter in our community? An angry old machine gunner who's had his stuff taken that says, listen, guns don't kill people. People kill people. If you disagree with me, you're stupid. I want no laws. You know? And so, of course, to get from here to here is really difficult. Is the old machine gunner wrong? No. The old machine gunner is completely right. <laughs> and we all know that. If you spend enough time reading and, and researching this, they're, they're right. But for the average Canadian, it's too hard. It's too hard to get from A to B. So the role of the CCFR is we want to work with the public. It's a public awareness campaign. We want to work with the media so that they have reasonable, very well-versed people that they can rely on to tell them the truth and to, and to tell them why we need regulations changed. They, they need to know why. Everybody's arguing about what, but nobody talks about why. Um, and we need a, a resource for government to go to, to say, well, here, here's a guy I can talk to. Um, you know, I don't want to lose votes. Can you help me not lose votes? You know, can you help me sell this to my constituency? Oh, you've done a bunch of the work. Now there's not so much opposition to some changes. Great. Thank you, CCFR, if we're able to achieve that, right? Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying, oh, you know, by the end of the year, you know, there'll be nobody opposing, you know, uh, guns freely being distributed around Canada. That, that's not realistic for anybody. But anyway, that's what we're going to try to do. And in the coming weeks, you're going to see the plans coming out about how we're going to do that and what kind of resources are going to be required. At least we're working really hard to get all those together. So that's a real problem that has gone unaddressed. And these are problems that we want to be a part of solving. So what we're doing, so this is really important as well. What role do we play in the firearms community? Well, no one is doing this work. And I can tell you that they're not doing it because I've been doing that work with my tiny little YouTube channel and my buddy holding the camera. And people are still like, oh, I've never heard this before in my life, right? Um, so no one is really doing that. So what we are as an organization is we complement the efforts of the other organizations out there. Um, we want to do what they're not doing. We don't want to take over market share from them. We want to grow our overall market. You know, we're an organization that will never embarrass you. At least I hope we won't. We're going to try not to. We're law and order, and we're willing to, to push what's good for all Canadians. So, and to stop gun owners from being treated like we've committed some heinous crime and we're on bail. So we have to be kept on this super tight leash for no real reason other than to be punitive against us, right? That's the situation we're in. Now, are we going to be able to achieve this? And what are the factors? Well, this is the end of the, the, the video. Here it is. We have enemies from without. And we have enemies to us from within. The enemies without are the NDP and the Liberal Party of Canada. Both of them knowing absolutely zero, nothing, zero about the firearm file have already put forth some great suggestions like A, bringing back the gun registry, except doing it right, doing it right this time, which is Tom Mulcair's position. He hasn't got a clue, not the faintest idea of where gun violence even comes from or how to stop it or what gun laws work and what gun laws don't. He doesn't have a clue. I'll tell you flat out, right? But it's a political football. We all know that. Gun control has nothing to do with public safety. It's a political wedge, right? But that doesn't mean that I'm not going to try to help the NDP understand where they're going wrong, because they don't need to destroy half of Canadians to please the other half. No one's told them this apparently yet. The other thing, and then he's, he thought, whoa, the gun registry is too hot of an issue. I'm going to back off and I'm going to give a federal responsibility, which is firearms, gun control, to the municipalities so they can destroy their own people in the municipalities and create that fight down there and my hands are clean. I'll leave it to them to do, you know, to some power hungry, uh, you know, uh, city councillors to deal with. You know, that's what we're facing on the NDP. Well, on the other side, we have another guy that doesn't know a single thing about guns. Nothing, not a thing, Justin Trudeau. And what does he say? Hey, I'm going to reclassify a bunch of firearms. That'll be awesome. Just like the RCMP did a year ago last February, because that worked out really well. That really brought us together as a country.
That really enhanced the relationship between people and the government and people and the police. Yeah, that was, it was all good and no bad. How ridiculous. So that's what you're looking for. Now, most people that know my, my stance politically is I don't, I'm really not a fan of any political party. Um, I'm not a cheerleader for the conservatives, but all I can say, and I don't even know this for a fact, but at least the conservatives aren't going to take our guns away. If the other two parties get in, we will be in a fight for our lives, probably right out of the gate. So there is, it's coming. Uh, we will be fighting for our rights again very soon. It's coming, I assure you that. So we need to take action. Now, what we need to do is all gun owners need to be members of all associations, not just the CCFR and not just the other two national ones. You should be a member of all of the associations, you know, if you can afford it. It's like, what, 120 bucks a year or something like that to be a member of all of them. You need to get off your butt and you need to get active. You need to join one of these associations and volunteer and represent all gun owners in a positive light. And we all need to stand shoulder to shoulder. The egos have to go. The polarizing purists have to go. And we need to stand shoulder to shoulder, no more of this stuff. And we all got to pull together and we all have to have a united front. So shoulder to shoulder and forward we go. Um, anyway, I appreciate all the early support. Hopefully we'll be up and running uh, accepting memberships uh, soon. And uh, if you want to check out the website for the CCFR, you can find it at www.firearmrights.ca. Uh, really appreciate the support. I hope you're with us uh, when, we, uh, when we throw the doors open. And um, there'll be another update soon. Thanks for watching.